What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison video on two different hunting tripods mainly used for predator and hog hunting. All right. So we have the Predator Tactics tripod and the Bog Death Grip hunting tripod. Both of these are fairly nice, more high-end hunting tripods, more than just going out and buying a camera tripod. So this should be a pretty good comparison. Let's get right into it. Like I said before the intro rolled, we are going to be comparing two different hunting tripods. We are going to be doing the Bog Death Grip hunting tripod and the Predator Tactics hunting tripod. Okay, both these tripods are pretty tall. Um, this is the Bog and it stands up, uh, I don't know, I'd say five feet. The Predator Tactics tripod can get a lot higher than it is. I just have it at this height because that's what it works best for me. As you can see, it's, it can get on up there in height, way higher than I am. Um, if you're a really tall person, if you're over seven feet, this would probably be the tripod for you. Um, but if not, the bog tripod is a pretty decent height, and I think for most people, at least six feet. Probably, probably bog would probably be a little too short uh, if you're a lot higher than six feet I'm right at six foot and it's perfect height for me okay so that's one I guess difference but they are plenty high and uh, do pretty well alright so in terms of actually similarities there's not a lot that are similar on either of these tripods the way the legs come out are similar they have these flip they flip and they uh, extend I have another tripod that rotates around the legs and it unlocks them and locks them. But other than that, these tripods are pretty different. So let's go over each difference. So the first difference, um, Predator Tactics tripod has this arm right here that allows you to fine tune and adjust your height. The bog does not come with that. All right, the bog is, that you see is what you get. It's this height, and it, you can't fine tune it, can't get higher, and uh, you're kind of stuck with it. And that's okay. If you're about six foot, this is perfect, right? But if not, this is what you're left with. All right. Um, moving to how the gun's actually mounted. All right. So the bog. It's clamps. It's it's a clamp system. It's called the death grip, and it clamps directly to your rifle. You don't need any type of Picatinny rail piece. You don't need anything. It just clamps directly onto your rifle, and that's really nice if you're taking like a hunting rifle or like a bolt gun that doesn't have any uh, any way to attach through a Picatinny, and that's where the Predator tactic kind of falls behind. You can only attach it through Picatinny rail piece. Ooh, right there, but that didn't tighten it down. Um, the Predator Tactic only attaches through Picatinny rail piece, and if you don't have that, then it's not going on your gun. And the attachment is kind of bulky. That's one thing I don't like about it. Uh, it's not too bad, but it just takes away from, I guess, how your gun looks. Right? So this one. There's no piece down there. There's no way the piece can get in the way. This one has a piece that could get in the way if you took your gun off the tripod. Alright. How the head rotates. This one has a ball head. Um, and this one, I'm not quite sure. It doesn't really look like a ball. You don't get your left to right movements on the bog tripod that you do on the Predator Tactics tripod. The Predator Tactics, you can rotate your gun however you want as you can see here you can go all over the place and with your bog you can only go left right and up down so you don't get to do your side to side motion on the bog which I mean you don't really need the side to side motion on the bog it would just be it would just be nice okay so how the legs come down these have a little 
little push-ins that give, and then you can read your angle. Not that you ever really need to read your angle. Most people will just push it into what it is. This is at 20. Um, these have the same angles, but these, you pull these pieces out to adjust. So they're more similar to like a camera tripod. Alright, for these, you push in like so. And this adjusts your spread on your legs. Alright, so pull these out. You can adjust all the way, set it in, and it's done. Alright, so that's another, another difference in the tripods. Another big difference in the tripods is price. Okay, so both of these tripods will be linked in the description down below. But this tripod right here is $125, okay? And uh, that's a pretty, pretty decent price. And this, this tripod right here is $250, which is more than double. Well, it is double the price of this tripod. And that's, that's saying a lot. I mean, do you really get double the tripod? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so moving on from price, um, weight, weight on the tripods. So I feel like the Predator Tactics tripod is considerably lighter than the Bog. The Bog is pretty heavy. Um, Bog does make a lightweight version that is made out of carbon fiber and it's upwards of $200. So that might be some of the trade off in price is what this one is made out of versus what this one is made out of. They're both very sturdy though and uh, I think they they do the job for anybody that's looking to predator hunt or um, do any pig hunting or whatnot or even even rifle deer hunting. I mean you could definitely do a tripod shot for that but it's just not as common I, I wouldn't think or I don't think at least not around here it's not. Alright um, Ends of the legs, they're exactly the same. They have little spiky points on the end of them that adjust out and allow you to get better traction when you're doing your when you're doing your stand or your set. So uh, yeah, so that about does it for the comparison of the tripods. I think both of them are very nice, and I think both of them are uh, are crucial and a good set for a coyote or a hog. Now, which one to buy? That's that's a hard decision. Okay, um, I definitely prefer the Predator Tactics, just because I mean I'm always going to be hunting with an AR-15, so the Picatinny piece is not that big of a deal for me. Um, it's very light, it's easy to move, and uh, I think it's just a better built tripod. Uh, I think it feels better. It doesn't feel as plasticky as the Bog feels. But um, the bog is cheaper. It is more economically, I guess, sensible if you're balling on a budget. Um, you don't get as much options when it comes to adjusting, but you can put whatever you want inside the bog. So you got a hunting rifle, cool, put it in the bog. You got a, uh, an AR-15, got a big old heavy AR-15, put it in the bog. And that's another thing I forgot to mention. On both of these, both of these tripods are super sturdy. Uh, my rifle here is about 10 pounds and uh, holds it like a champ. Both of these hold a Ruger Precision Rifle steady, just like this, all day, every day. No problem whatsoever. They're both very strong tripods and can hold weight very easily. Alright, so I guess it really depends on what you want to spend. Both of them you probably won't go wrong on. Uh, like I said, if you're balling on a budget, definitely the bog. But if you want to spend double the money, the Predator Tactics is a very nice tripod. And uh, I think it's probably well worth it, if I'm just being honest. So that about does it for the video, guys. I hope everybody enjoyed, and I hope that, uh, that you got something out of it. I have an individual tripod review for both of these tripods on the channel. So if you go check them out, if you're still interested, uh, if you want to go see more, go check that out. All right? Uh, go hit that subscribe button. It would mean a ton to me. We're getting really close to a thousand, and I would really like to get there. And it just, just, it would just mean a lot. So, I think that about does it. As always, guys, take someone outdoors, and I will see y'all next time.